Hello everybody. My name is Suman Dua and I'm a registered migration agent based in Brisbane, Australia. In this video today, we are going to talk about Tasmania's state nomination requirements for subclass 491. So last week we did make a video about the requirements for subclass 190 and as promised, today we are making a video for subclass 491. So to meet the requirements for Tasmania's state nomination, first you need to meet the requirements that are set by the Department of Home Affairs. So the requirements that are set by the Department of Home Affairs are that you need to be under 45 years of age, you need to have a positive skills assessment in a nominated occupation, which is on the department's occupation list, you also need to have a competent English, and you also need to have the point score of 65 or higher, including the uh, state nomination points. So if you are applying for a state nomination through Tasmania for subclass 491, uh, Tasmania will give you 15 points and you need 50 points of your own. So Tasmania does have five categories for the 491 uh, nomination. So I'm going to talk about each category today, uh, but I'm only going to touch the important uh, points for each category, but you may want to jump on their website to get some more information. So the first category for this visa is Tasmania's graduate. So to meet the eligibility requirements for subclass 491, you need to have studied in Tasmania for at least one year. You need to have um, lived in Tasmania for at least one year while you were studying that course. And you and your dependents must also be living in Tasmania before you make the application for this visa subclass. Now, please note that Tasmania does have their own occupation list, which is called Tasmania's Skilled Occupation List, also known as TSOL. So if your study is not related to the occupation which is on the list, you may want to include a career plan. So they have got some more information about the acceptable courses that you can do in Tasmania to meet the eligibility requirements for this category. We will put the link in the description for the website. The second category for visa subclass 491 is working in Tasmania. So if you have been working in Tasmania for six months, you can apply for the nomination. Now the, the occupation that you're working in does, does not have to be related to the nominated occupation. However, the employment should be full time, 35 hours a week, or it can be a combination of two part time jobs. The business that you're working for should be established in Tasmania for at least 12 months. You and your dependents must also be living in Tasmania when you apply for this category. If you think you are eligible for this category, you may want to go to their website to find some more information. We will put the link in the description. They do have a category three, which is for overseas applicants, but your occupation needs to be on their occupation demand list, which is TSOL. We will put the link in the description of their occupation list. If your occupation is on the list, you can apply for subclass 491 uh, nomination through Tasmania, but you have to make sure that you have not lived in any other Australian state or territory in the last 12 months. And you will also have to meet the English requirement that is set in the occupation list. They also expect you to have researched the Tasmania's labor market unless your occupation is listed as a high demand on their occupation list. If your occupation is on their high demand list in the TSOL, then you do not need to provide any employability evidence with your application. You will also have to make sure that you have access to sufficient funds if you are planning to migrate to Tasmania and you should have sufficient funds for the period of six months. Now under the same category, they have got another option which is for overseas applicants. And this option requires you to have a formal job of a letter in your nominated occupation from a Tasmania's employer. The condition is that you and your dependents should not have lived in any other Australian uh, state or territory in the last 12 months. Your employer should be a well-established business who's running their business in Tasmania from the last 12 months. And you will also have to provide evidence that there is actually a genuine need of your position in the business. If you meet all these requirements, you could be eligible for the subclass 491 nomination through Tasmania. They also have another category, which is category four, family in Tasmania. So as the name suggests, so you need to have an immediate family member living in Tasmania for a period of 12 months. Now this immediate family member has to be a permanent resident or an Australian citizen. And it has to be an immediate family member, which is a parent, brother, sister, child, uncle, aunt, or grandparent. Now they will also have to agree to support you for a period of 12 months when you move to Tasmania. 
And you need to note that the relationship by marriage, like brother-in-law or sister-in-law, will not be eligible for this category. So what it means is that the primary applicant needs to have an immediate family member in Tasmania to be eligible under this category. Now the last category, which is category 5, is a small business owner category. So under this category, you need to be running a business in Tasmania for a period of 6 months before you apply for their nomination. You will also have to demonstrate that you will be earning an income of 53,900 for the period of 3 years to meet the eligibility requirements for the permanent visa subclass 191. Another requirement for this category is that you will need to provide a comprehensive business plan with your application to make sure that uh, you meet the criteria. So these were the all five categories that are available for subclass 491 through Tasmania. So just to summarize, so they have a category one, which is for Tasmania's graduate who have studied there for one year. Then the category two is uh, people who are working in Tasmania for at least six months and does not have to be in your nominated occupation. Category three is for overseas applicants whose occupation is on the TSOL list. We will put the link in the description. The category 3B is again for overseas applicants but who have a formal job of a letter from a Tasmania's employer. Category 4 is for people who have got an immediate family member in Tasmania. And category 5 is for people who have got a small business in Tasmania and they have been operating the business for at least 6 months. So if you have questions about any of these categories, please get in touch with us. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you for watching Cyrus Migration. We make new videos every week relating to Australian migration. If you are interested in this topic, you may want to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. You may also want to click on the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new videos.